I reckon you can whip my ass, couldn't you? You know, it's a good thing I'm into that. Thanks, Eddie Pocket, talking about the entertainment. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Peter, you see? Now, Peter is, to me, a variable, which means every time I perform, I have to have somebody up on, different up on stage, and I have to learn very quickly about your personality and how far I can push it, and when to pull back. Yeah. So it's very, very uh, important that we do that. <laughs> and I appreciate that you're here for a start. I really do. Thank you. And I'm not here to take the piss out of you just for the sake of it. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not going to be at your expense. I just want to have a bit of fun with you, okay? It's a big difference. You know? That's a very strong grip you got there. <laughs> you lucky bugger. <laughs> Cigarette smoker, eh? I don't smoke anymore, I've learned a new method. Just stay on smoking. I'm going to find an extra one. See how far I'm going to push you and then pull back. Thank you, Philip. This is a $50 bill. Give it to me in all good faith that I'll turn it into a hundred bucks, yes? I lied about that part. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you are here, and this is worth 50 bucks just to be here. <laughs> so take a half a cent for it there, if you will. And uh, you've got a strong heart? That's good, that's important. <laughs> this is what we call an electric chair. <laughs> it's not really electric, it's just a bit of a hot seat. And I do ask you to take a seat and relax. Have <laughs> <laughs> the chicken, eh? <laughs> Are you Jewish, sir? Would you like to be? <laughs> I say skin off my nose. But I'm <laughs> the thing is, this is kind of important. Though. You've got to put the leaves down and keep your knees together, though. The queers open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you, Rob. You hung in there just a little bit too long. <laughs> Now, uh, uh, Peter, did you bring a pen to write out the serial number of your 50 on the back of my business card? There's my business card. See on the back? There's a blank area. Yeah? Did you bring a uh, pen? No. Oh, you made your first mistake. Now, what happens when you make mistakes is you get the electric chair. You probably don't know what I'm talking about yet, but uh, it's... it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> one of three instruments that I brought along just in case you didn't bring one. Now, you could choose this pen here to write out the serial number here. Uh, here's your first choice. Now, when you make a choice, make sure that you uh, choose the right one. If you don't, that is a chair offence. <laughs> here's your first choice. You could choose to write out the serial number. This pen, feel this. See, it's a felt pen. <laughs> it's a felt pen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Alright, just to recap, what we'll do, just to recap, love it. What we'll do, or you could use this pen here, Peter, you could use this one. I picked this one up the other day, it's a complimentary pen from Westpac. You can use this. <laughs> or perhaps you could just use crayons, so there you go. There's your choices. Crayons, complimentary pen from Westbeck, the felt pen, or if you're a clever dick, you could use your own tool, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Westbeck. Westbeck pen. Uh, I'm sorry, that doesn't work. Uh, have you gone into the bank and the works? No. Wrong answer. No choice there, unless you make a mistake. And you brought that on yourself. Think about the answers better. Like so the real answer was the felt pen. <laughs> I'll read the serial number. You write it. You write it out correctly, right? Here we go. Serial number is 
There are two letters first, then the numbers. <laughs> the whole exploding pen trick. <laughs> Why would I bother doing a cheap trick like that when I could have, you know, just done this? No. So, that was my fault, I'm sorry. No more trick. <laughs> Don't you have to hurt you. I hope so. It's always a good job. So the real answer was the silver pen. It was a black business card with laminate. You should have chosen that in the first place. Had you done that, you wouldn't have got the chair. So here we go. I'll read the serial number. You write it out on the back and don't make a mistake. And don't run out of room either and run around the edges. And it's got to be legible. Here we go. Serial number is two. I oh, gave away my. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> 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 trust me. All right, now I gave away my contact lens. I'm going to have to use my uh, reading glasses to get this number. It's a bit small. All right, so here you go. Ready? And I'll take B for Bravo, stuff like that. So here it goes. There's two letters usually. Yes, there's two letters. First letter is uh, F. F for mother. <laughs> e for intelligence. <laughs> Zero six double seven. Zero six double seven. Okay. Three nine. You're going very well. You stayed inside the board. <laughs> no chair. Notice the photo's over. Okay. Zero. And you have one last number. It all fits in. Last number is. Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it looks like you have to take a guess. <laughs> Before you write it, or you've written it. And what have you written? Number seven? What number was it really? I can't write it. Yes, but he's got six. I've got a spare pair here. What a dash. There you go. Yeah, read the serial number. So what is it? Zero. Zero. And you wrote seven. So that's a mistake then. <laughs> so you change it to zero. Change it to zero. Yeah, you can. Yeah. All righty. So I'll have the pen. Thank you. That's how I got it. <laughs> now you do admit that that was a mistake though before, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, you can. <laughs> Mistakes are mistake. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I would lie. I've lied several times tonight already. I, I lied about turning 50 into 100. I lied about the, the wine to Jane. Hmm? Yeah. Said I wouldn't do the chair again, but what do I do? It's within the lie. And they're not going to believe me that I've read the serial number out correctly because I'm the magician. And this is the enemy. <laughs> so they'll believe you though, because you're one of them. So here we go. Double check yourself. Yes. FE 067739 double zero. Okay. And you didn't need the glasses after all, did you? You lion mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> so you double check it? Okay, so take a seat and relax and watch this. Take a seat and relax. <laughs> what is wrong? Good FE, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good. Now, uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to uh, watch this very carefully? I'll show you something. Like this. Yes? What do you reckon? Did I cut the 50? What do you reckon, girls? You want a hint? <laughs> Take them home, they're ready. <laughs> So that is four pieces. Yes, four. Okay. Now that will allow you. Look, I'll, actually, I'll even make it a bit more difficult. Just girls. Okay. There you go. I'll take a piece off the corner. How many pieces now? Bro? Get this wrong, you get the chair. <laughs> four plus one. Five. Well done. 
This will allow me to take it a step further. <laughs> Which will allow you to reach in my pocket to get the lighter that's in there. I felt it before. I know it's in there. <laughs> Sick <laughs> so what do you want to do? Dig around in my pocket? Or go to the good book. Your call, Peter. Oh, you don't want to dig around. Oh, I missed Judge Stu, didn't I? I'm sure now. Alright. You want to change your mind? Positive? Alright, anyway, have a good time. Now, after all that, I could have switched that. Have a look at the serial number. Is the serial number still there, sir? Yeah, I need the lighter after all. Yeah. Oh. It's there you go. Show job. it in. Yeah. Right there. Right in the fire. Thanks. <laughs> Cooking book. <laughs> <laughs> well, that about wraps it up for you, sir. I want to thank you for giving everybody 50 bucks worth of entertainment. You provided it. Well done. <laughs> 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 you don't want to leave. <laughs> what do you expect from me? Tricks with playing cards? <laughs> <laughs> you trust me? No. Do you? I'm going to give you a little trust me test. <laughs> now, this may feel as if I'm cutting you some over here. Do you think I've cut you? Just a little bit. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> this is your hair, yes? You're convinced. Okay, so we're going to leave your hair right there on the edge. And these, are, these scissors look like they're real, correct? But see, I painted a mental picture in your head that I cut your hair. You'd swear in a court of law that was your hair, but it's not. You may have thought you felt it, but you didn't. <laughs> These are not real. Check them out. Are they real? Put your hand on them. Put the other hand on them. Make sure the other hand's on them. Is it real? You sure? Absolutely positive? Good. Now, there's going to be an incident later on in the car park. <laughs> Well, while he's going to make a show, the rest of you something interesting. <laughs>